Well, the Badgers on the road last weekend, one in Omaha, 5-2, then lost game two, 5-2. Now 5-5, five five, the Badgers back at the Kohl Center to resume Big Ten play against undefeated and fourth-ranked Notre Dame. I'm Brian Posick, and head coach Tony Granato joins us next on the Badger Hockey Digest. Well, you look at Wisconsin's schedule this season, it's been tough. And you look at Omaha and think, okay, maybe the Badgers can get a couple of wins down there. But uh, Nebraska-Omaha, their head coach, Mike Gavin, has done a nice job. And you can see they're an improved team. And they gave you everything they got last weekend, didn't they? It was great college hockey uh, as far as the, how the hard the games played. And, and both games were battles uh, as far as uh, competitive, physical. Um, Specialty teams were part of it. Goaltending was part of it. Great plays were part of it. Like it was a really fun, energetic weekend. The Friday night game, uh, we were able to fight off their forecheck, which uh, was a was a dump and chase and run our D type of mentality to try to intimidate us. I thought we did a great job of handling that, uh, and and found a way to win that one. And then the second game, we were in position to win. I thought the second period, there was a section of that period that I thought was probably our best hockey of, of the year so far, but we couldn't score. Our goalie was good. Mm -hmm. uh, we trailed going into the third uh, by a goal, and, and we just couldn't get the momentum going to get back in that game. But, but all in all, there were some great things. Uh, obviously, we'd love to put together a streak here soon where we, we get some wins uh, in consecutive games and in consecutive series. So, so. Um, you know that's our that's that's our you know that building that's we're building towards that. I think I, I think what we're learning about our team uh, is helping us move forward. And and when you get another chance against Notre Dame, it kind of reminds me of the Duluth series as far sure. as how we're preparing for it and the opportunity we have to play, you know, a top team in the country again in, in our building. And I think we feel pretty good about uh, the way uh, we've gotten ready for this series. Sure. A couple of individual performances stood out last weekend against Omaha. Friday night, Roman Ashan, his first two-goal career game. And Alex Turcott had three goals and four points over the weekend, was named the second star in the Big Ten. Boy, you know, for fans that come out to the Kohl Center, watch on TV or listen on the radio, uh, hearing Turcott's name or watching number 15 skate around, he's something special. Well, the fifth pick in the NHL draft this year uh, because he's skilled, he's talented, but to go along with the skill and talent, he's got a tremendous compete level. And, uh, you know, he's, the first goal he scored on Friday was uh, one that, you know, there was nowhere to go. It was kind of a one-on-three thing. He, instead of trying to stick handle and beat somebody, he said, well, I'm going to shoot through the screen and I'm going to crash in that and try to find a rebound. He was able to out muscle two defenders mm -hmm. and get there for that one. The other two goals were just, you know, brilliant stick handling and vision and, and awareness of what was available to him and popped two of them, you know, top shelf uh, with great poise uh, around the net. So so I, I love the way he's playing. I love how hard he's competing. Uh, I think he's getting more confidence and better each and every week. And. Uh, yeah, he's, he's a heck of a player. <laughs> yes, he is. Well, the Fighting Irish are in town this weekend. We'll preview the Notre Dame series coming up in just a moment. The Learfield IMG College Directors' Cup, the highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through the directorscup.com, USA Today, or L Directors' Cup on Twitter. Learfield IMG College Directors' Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993. Fun weekend at the Kohl Center coming up. It's Jersey night on Friday night, so if you have a Badger sweater or Tony Granado sweater, wear it to the rink. And then Saturday night, it's the UW Teddy Toss to support uh, Toys for Tots. Bring teddy bears. You can buy them here, too, if you'd like, and then throw them on the ice after the game. Wisconsin and Notre Dame, the Fighting Irish, the only unbeaten team left in Division I college hockey, 7-0-1. Their goaltender's back, Cale Morris, the player of the year in the Big Ten a couple of years ago, and they're scoring quite a bit, too, aren't they? They are. Yeah. <laughs> They're a very predictable team on you know what you're going to get from them. They're going to be patient. They're going to try to uh, slow the game down. They're going to try to be bullies in front of both nets. Um, they're going to be um, a team that's going to wait for you to, to change. Mm -hmm. And they don't care what the score is. They don't care what the period is uh, or what's happening in the game. They find a way to play the same way. And if you look at the games against Ohio State last weekend, it looked like Ohio State was you know playing pretty well and in control of the game. but. 
you know, they make a mistake, bang it's in your net, and and that's the mentality they have. They, they're they're very disciplined. Uh, they're not going to try any outrageous, crazy, um, um, you know, open the game up type of mentality. They're gonna they're gonna sit back and defend. They don't give out they don't give up outnumbered attacks. They're D back off and play really responsible. So it'll be important for us to, to have the patience of, of realizing that you know we got to stay with our game plan if it, if it you know no matter what's going on in the game uh, you can't give into it you can't try to do something different you can't you know fall into their trap and uh, if you do you know, they're going to you know continue to have success and that's what they prided themselves on for for the last four years that I've seen you know, since playing against Notre Dame uh, since I came back and and uh, so I get a ton of respect for how they play and for us, it's it's speed, it's energy, it's it's winning those battles at the net front. You know, it's making it harder. Morris, who is a great goaltender, so we're going to have to fight for our, our space in front of the net. And and but like I said, I feel really good about our team. I know um, um, going into this series, the, the energy and, and the the confidence and and what we can do uh, is there in our room. And this is a great challenge and, and opportunity for us to show uh, show that we're ready for it. Looking forward to it. Good luck. Thank you, Brian. Sure, that's head coach Tony Granato. Notre Dame's head coach, Jeff Jackson, longtime Badger hockey fans remember him at Lake Superior State. He brings his Irish to town this weekend, Friday and Saturday night. Both games start at 7 o'clock. Friday's game is on Fox Sports Wisconsin. Both games on the Badger Sports Network. For Tony Granato and Jay Williams, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest.